Hey, what's up YouTube? I got this comment the other day. Have you ever thought about doing a video on the Cooking with Jack show on YouTube? I was not familiar with that, so I did check it out. It appears that he's kind of like the best worst chef on the internet. Kind of a, a comedic figure, very popular. Now, a lot of people have criticized his cooking skills. All right, I'm not going to do that in the video, but... Jack has had some uh, health setbacks recently, pretty severe ones. I'm mainly going to tell you how to not have those. But anyway, that's Jack. He's currently 55 years old. Okay, so let's just do a quick survey of uh, what he is eating on a regular basis. Now, he doesn't always eat all the stuff he shows in the videos, but we can kind of tell he's he is eating a lot of it. All right, so here he compared some different flavors of Doritos. Now, he does a lot of comparison videos. Uh, there we have Cheetos mac and cheese comparison. Cupcakes. Uh, comparing all these chips. All right, a lot of stuff from the convenience store aisles. Uh, we got KFC compared to Popeyes compared to Chick-fil-A. All right, so a lot of stuff uh, deep fried in oil and breaded. He also does cooking. He made some brownies, which are half brownies and half... Uh, peanut butter. Uh, I bet those are tasty. Uh, he also loves his burgers. He'll do reviews of different restaurants, right? So, or, you know, fast food joints. Uh, loaded fries, burger, bacon. Wow, really loaded fries. You got some chili fries with some some cheese. Definitely likes the grease and the saturated fats, it, it seems. All right, he did a pizza comparison. Uh, yeah, you know, if you've watched my videos before, they never end well. Five minutes later, and he had a stroke. Uh, well, I wish him a speedy recovery. When you have a stroke, sometimes you have to learn to walk again. So there he is learning to walk again in the hospital. And after that, he spent about a month in a nursing home. This was not his first stroke, okay? His last stroke was like a month ago as I'm narrating this. But you see, this is two years ago. From his previous stroke, uh, he's explaining how basically his arm kind of no longer functioned and he's trying to rehabilitate it. Yes, his previous stroke, I've been told he's actually had three strokes. And his first stroke was actually when he was just still in his 40s, 55 now. So I've been told he had three strokes. Some people said four. That's alarming. I mean, okay, so... Why is why is Jack having so many strokes and how can you not have them? Well, having type 2 diabetes means you have twice the normal chance of having a stroke and Jack has that and his diet makes his diabetes worse. Jack is not really that heavy compared to a lot of people I've seen, but the distribution of his fat is is particularly deadly. It's called visceral fat. Visceral fat is fat that you carry around the midsection that's close to your organs, and it's associated with congestive heart failure, liver disease, type 2 diabetes. Uh, it's just a particularly deadly place for the fat to be, and as you see there, it is associated with stroke as well. Another thing that puts you at huge risk for a stroke is high blood pressure. You know, if there's just pressure building up in your blood vessels, they can burst. Now, they did a study, insurance company, of employees who died, and basically, if you have high blood pressure, you were four times as likely, four times as likely, to die from a stroke. This is from the American Heart Association. Not only can it give you a stroke, but uh, it can give you all those other medical consequences. Now, if you're age 40 to 59, about 55% uh, of you statistically have high blood pressure. And if you are 60 or older, uh, three out of four of you have it. So why does Jack have high blood pressure? Well, unhealthy diet, physical inactivity, obesity. Uh, basically, his lifestyle is like the perfect storm for developing it. Uh, smoking and drinking can also contribute to that. A high sodium diet, but yeah, obesity. He's pretty much eating his own death at this point. This kind of brings up the psychological question of uh, why is Jack choosing to destroy himself? Well, 
I mean, he he cooks so much food or buys so much food sometimes that he has a fear that there won't be enough food. So maybe sometime in his past he had a situation where he was food insecure. Uh, he could also suffer from psychosis. You know, trauma can lead to stress, can lead to psychosis, which can lead to uh, delusions. Uh, a delusion is a, a strange belief that had doesn't pass basic truth tests. Uh, here's healthy eating tips from Jack. Yeah, we've seen this before. Jack actually believes that uh, he understands nutrition. Jack actually believes that he understands how to live healthy. There it is, healthy living from Jack. Yeah, this is an example of a, a possible psychotic delusion where he believes the opposite of the situation. There's his keto recipes. You know, he believes that he's Sometimes he believes that he's doing a keto diet. We've seen this before with YouTubers. This was Jennifer Gwen Ann. She has passed away. She too believed she was doing a keto diet. She would often post her keto recipes. They are very troubled mentally and their beliefs do not correspond with reality or just basic truth tests. Like if you ask, you know, 10 doctors if Jack's uh, diet was healthy, they'd say no. This is an artist's rendition of Jack's nutrition understanding, impaired from understanding nutrition. And so his diet really is not that much different from many Americans. It's, it's called the uh, roll the dice and cross your fingers and hope that today isn't the day that it all comes to, right? It's just, it's, you know, when, when your standard American diet or SAD meets reality, the results are never good. These... These uh, things never end well. They never end well. But remember, his loss and your loss are other people's gain. There is a perfect logistical infrastructure of profit-taking that exists to profit from your declining health and lifestyle choices. You know, most of the stuff Jack eats is only made by a small cartel of corporations. Is this a tragedy? Well... It's a tragedy that Jack felt the need to make those choices, but once he made them and has kept making them, the results are simply just the laws of physics.